How does Dune influence you? A complex plot based on Frank Herbert's book, with Paul Atreides as its main character and Dennis Villeneuve as its director. In the right way. Yet the novel also tells a lot about us human beings, so to understand that, we need... an adapter. While the story has so many nuanced characters, let's quickly look at Paul Atreides. Paul is the son of Lady Jessica and Duke Leto Atreides, who first lived on the planet of Caladon, but had to move to Arrakis when he was 15 years old. After Paul and Jessica flee for a bit, they join the Fremen. They trained a bit, and Paul was able to lead the Fremen in a resistance campaign against the Herkonen rule. He rides a bunch of sandworms, goes through the water of life process, demanded the Emperor to step down in favor of him, and after 12 years on the throne, his struggle managed to kill 61 billion people across the universe. Man, all those experiences bring so many lessons and teach us a lot. So... 1979, the year that writer Frank Herbert told this about his Dune trilogy. Beware of heroes, much better to rely on your own judgments and your own mistakes. This is a pretty intriguing quote. Superman, for instance, is a very popular superhero, but imagine if he had no trust, it would be a completely different story. Frank actually wants with his work about surrendering to charismatic leaders, which, considering history, isn't the very worst message of all time. As the most charismatic leaders often led the most horrifying events, either for power or through fear. That reminds me of something. I must not fear, and fear is the mind killer. Possibly the most famous line in the Dune series, as it truly supports the surrendering to charismatic leaders theory. Because fear lays a great foundation for hatred, for which the most evil leaders easily have fallen. Whether that is German culture, economic growth, religious dominance, or simply for the sake of power. And in the Dune novels, even things like ecological or military illusions create a sense of fear. And then there's one final message. What do you think it is? You see, Paul was destined to become the Kwisatz Haderic, but on that journey, he suffers from tremendous fear. This first and foremost has to do with Paul's resistance group, the Freyman, who, if things get going the way they were going, would launch a devastating crusade amongst the universe for the greater good. And since Paul is the leader of the Freyman, he would be responsible for all the suffering. Coming back to the photo, this picture is meant to show fate versus free will creating the central question whether you can change the course of history, or if fate is inescapable. As not just Paul, but Jake Leto's experiences suggest that fate is stronger than free will. To sum these messages up, Frank Herbert and Dennis Villeneuve tell through an imaginary and visual way that you should be careful with heroes or charismatic leaders, that fear easily takes control of a human mind, and that fate is stronger than free will. <laughs>